Hi guys, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. My name is Amina and this is uh, for the Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is your weekly love reading. We'll find out your current energy, what to look out for um, for the week ahead and what is the advice. My readings are timeless, so whenever you see it is when you are meant to find it and it will be for your next seven days, okay? So yeah, let's get right to it. It's current energy. <clears throat> Okay, so you've got the Seven of Swords, the Hanged Man, and the King of Swords. So starting with the Seven of Swords, yeah, this is um, <clears throat> this is energy of holding back, um, not being completely open. Uh, maybe there's something that you're struggling to express. You know, maybe um, maybe it feels easier to keep certain things to yourself. You know, this card. You know, this this often pops up when there's a sense of keep keeping things hidden okay so whether it's from fear or maybe just simply being unsure um this energy kind of talks about a truth that wants to come out but something is holding it back and then you've got the hanged man and this is a clear sense of a, a pause or a block okay so you, it's like being in limbo you know where there's there's a need to gain a new perspective here or or waiting things out okay so maybe you might be feeling stuck maybe you're unsure of the next step or maybe you're just not ready to make a move you know the hanged man kind of talks about sitting with that situation um s seeing things differently sorry sorry about that i needed to cough yeah um the hanged man about um seeing the situation and seeing things differently you know uh, taking a moment to reflect okay and then um the king swords yeah this is this is about sharp logical energy okay so it's all about using your head over your heart okay so it's like this is part of you that wants to stay detached analyze things from a distance rather than diving into their emotions that's the that's the king of swords okay um you know he he brings in a sense of control and, and clear thinking and but paired with the other cards they might also it might also be a way that you're avoiding getting too deep emotionally okay <clears throat> so what to look out for i'm still recovering so please bear with me thank you to all those um that sent me messages well wishes i'm definitely feeling definitely healing feeling a lot better um yeah so four of pentacles the devil and the star <clears throat> so yeah the the four of pentacles this is uh, feeling of holding on tightly okay you might be clinging to a person maybe a past experience um maybe even your own beliefs you know this is about not wanting to let go even if it if, even if it's restricting you okay so there might be someone that you feel that you can't release or maybe no matter how things look um yeah you can't release them no matter how things look on the outside okay <clears throat> And then with the devil, there's a intense magnetic pull here. So this card is about it's 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 that can't stay away energy, right? When the attraction of that connection is almost consuming, um, it feels so powerful. There's also a hint that it it might not be. It's not even a hint. It's it's not healthy. Okay, it it is the 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 devil, and the devil comes with addictions or maybe codependent relationships, third party situations. Um, just toxic kind of, you know, th th those that thrive on fighting and then having that makeup sex and like all that, like it's actually a mission. <clears throat> Sorry. It's actually, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, hmm. it's, it's, it's something about a focus, a focus of that. Like this, there are some people that um, to fight for the sake of just making up right and and it's like it's that intensity that passion that you have when you have that makeup sex i don't even know if i'm allowed to say this on on um on youtube but yeah you get the idea that's the devil <clears throat> or the devil and energy so um this is about those relationships where you know the chemistry is um off the charts off the charts but there's a lot to think about that beneath that surface okay and then you've got the star and this kind of brings in a sense of i'm saying this is uniqueness admiration you know it's like the 
this person stands out to you. So they're different, right? They're special. They're so hard to forget. Um, there's an aura of hope here. Okay, that's what the star card talks about. It's like you're drawn to them because they bring something inspiring um, and refreshing, you know, into your life. So um, it's a card about, it's the energy is about wishing and dreaming, right? You know, it highlights that spark that makes this connection feel just one of a kind, okay? So I'm just going to pause again. I'm back. All right, so the advice. Okay, we've got the nine of swords, the empress reversed and the Ten of Cups reversed. Um, yeah, with the Nine of Swords, it's clear that these feelings are kind of just weighing heavily on you. Um, this is about, you know, the Nine of Swords is about those late night thoughts, you know, that just won't quit mental anguish. If you are feeling stressed, you're anxious, you're overwhelmed by what's going on, this might be time to kind of just face those feelings head on, okay? Um, especially in the advice position, it's a reminder that sometimes letting it out can actually provide relief. Um, and then you've got the Empress reversed, and this is about prioritizing yourself, okay? So this, <clears throat> when, when the Empress is upright, it, it's, um, it's sorry, when the Empress is reversed, I mean, it's um, this, you might not be receiving that love and that respect that you truly deserve, okay? So this is kind of like a, Think of it as a gentle nudge, you know, to, to just ask yourself in this relationship or the situation, is it truly nourishing you or is it draining your energy instead? Okay, you have to be honest with yourself. And then you've got the Ten of Cups reversed. And this is about um, needing to step back or just letting go. Okay, the, the, this card in the reverse is, is about separation. It's about walking away when things are not aligned. Okay, so if you're finding that situation just isn't bringing you that happiness or that fulfillment, you know, um, <clears throat> in the advice position, it might be time to consider, you know, if this is the chapter that you're meant to close. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.